Hey y'all, I'm back with another video, so make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, follow my Instagram at Stars Lash and Beauty with the S on it and the stars. I know you guys probably was like, where she been at? She ain't been posting no videos or nothing like that, but today's video... I'm giving you guys a little update on what's been going on, what I've been doing, stuff like that. So, let's get right into it. So, you guys, I want to start letting you guys into my life a little bit more, what I'll be doing throughout the day, what be going on as far as my business and stuff like that. Just, you know, regular, regular days when I have regular days, because we all have those days where we just, you know, have chill days or days where you know it's not really much going on this day or you have days where you have a lot going on we all have those days but right now i'm just in the kitchen about to put together something for dinner while i'm in the house so like i was saying in the beginning i was going to update you guys on what's been going on and stuff like that but hold on one second y'all Had to grab a dish because I'm about to put together some broccoli. Okay, but um, like I was saying, I wanted to update you guys on everything that's been going on. I know you guys probably was like, okay, she ain't post no more videos again. What happened? Stuff like that. No, that's not the case. You know, sometimes it just gets crazy and stuff going on, but. Definitely can't forget about you guys and everybody that watches me and subscribes to my channel and, you know, shows support and stuff like that. Definitely can't forget about y'all. But I feel like we all have those days, like, where sometimes we get busy and with our personal lives and stuff like that. And that has to take over a little bit and you have to you know deal with that and what comes with it but I've just been you know trying to get my business together trying to get it out there a little bit more I know for us entrepreneurs that are just just starting out it gets a little you know it, it can get a little tricky and stuff like that because some days you might you know have a lot going on and have customers and then other days it's just like okay it's not really much going on and those are kind of like the tough difficult difficult days because yeah it can get tough and it can get discouraging if you're not you know and nothing's really happening that day or nobody wants to buy your products that day stuff like that so that right there is kind of challenging and i know it's a lot of other entrepreneurs out there who have businesses well can relate and say the same thing it's not easy but i feel like putting in the hard work and keep you know going and not letting you know those slow moments or slow times or you know those having those slow days stop you from where you're trying to go or where you're trying to get your business i think it's important because you know a lot of people when you on instagram and stuff like that they show everything like it's all good but in reality Ain't nobody's life just perfect and good all the time. Everybody has bad times as well and times where they go through stuff. Like, I just feel like we're all human. Like, everybody has those times and moments. And I feel like it's important to get through those bad times just to get to the good side on the other side. And that's what I'm, you know, working towards right now. I'm trying to 
get through, you know, the tough times and to hang in there to know that, you know, it's going to be more good times. Just hang in there, keep going. But you guys, I'm going to um, fix this up real quick and then come right back and sit down and talk to you guys. So stay tuned. Okay, sorry y'all, I am back. I had to, you know, put the broccoli and rice and stuff, fix that, get that together. But I'm back to sit down and continue with the conversation that I was sharing with you guys and telling you guys, you know, the update and what's been going on. But like I was saying, like being an entrepreneur and just starting out and you know having a business and trying to continue to keep keep it going and continuing to you know make sure that your business continues to grow and continues to you know become successful and all of that like it's a lot to it it's challenging i know those entrepreneurs who are out there who have their own business it's important to sit back and think and ask yourself, okay, how do you keep it growing? How do you maintain having customers buy your products? And how do you maintain having an audience and, you know, grabbing people's attention to get them to, you know, follow your Instagram or to get them to buy your products? like? How do you keep that going? How, how do you attract your audience and give them, you know, a reason to want to be into your products and what you're selling or, you know, with your business period? So I just think that's challenging as well, you know. For me, I just feel like, you know, some days it's like, okay, I have to sit back and think like what is it that I can do out of the box that's different you know that makes me stand out and that makes my business different to attract a certain audience or to attract a certain amount of people to you know remain out there and to remain you know relevant and that's something that I've been working on as well, trying to stay busy with my business and trying to, you know, make it more successful because I do want my business to grow more and more. I do want to expand more and, you know, I already have the lashes and the bonnets, but I do want to continue expanding and having different things as well. That's the purpose of why I named my business Stars Lash and Beauty. You know, just for us females out there having, you know, beauty products, taking care of ourselves, making ourselves feel good about ourselves and stuff like that because I know us as women, um, makeup and stuff like that, anything that is included with beauty and, you know, stuff like that, we enjoy and we love to wear and we, you know, it excites us. I know me, it excites me as well. Anything with makeup or anything like that, beauty, accessories, lipstick, lip gloss, all of that. I love all of that. I'm, I'm a girly girl, so all of that just excites me, period. I love anything, anything of that nature. But, um, yeah, so that's one of the things I've been doing is, you know, trying to focus more on marketing my business as well. Whether it's, you know, posting sales that I'm having or whether it's, you know, just joining somebody else's event anything that i can do to market and get my business out there even more and more i just feel like it's important because i do want to get to the point where i'm fully doing what i love to do full time and that's the only thing that i'm doing and that's what i want to get to where i could just 
focused on just Stars Action Beauty full time and that be the only thing that I'm doing as far as my career and stuff like that and as far as work. Because I feel like when you're doing something that you love to do, it's not really a job or anything like that. It's just, it's fun. Like, you just love it. It doesn't feel like a job or like a nine to five. Like, you don't have a hard time waking up or you don't complain waking up or anything like that. You're excited actually to wake up and get right into it because it's, you're doing something that you love. So, like, it doesn't feel like it's, work or a job or anything like that so that's the point where I want to get to is right there where I don't feel like you know it's the day-to-day -day job so that's what um I've been focusing on is you know my business my life stuff like that but Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video. Once again, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video that I'll be posting.